In today's video, we'll be looking at a suggestion from Pixels, and not only is this one incredibly useful, but it can also be quite good fun as well. And if you want much faster cycles renders, check out Turbo Tools in the link in the description below. And the feature is Quake 3 Arena Mode, or in other words, in Blender terms, Walk Mode. So we can access it by pressing Shift tilde on the keyboard, then we can move around with W, A, S, D, Q and E, so we can actually walk around and then we can use the mouse wheel to speed that up or slow it down. Now this is useful if I've got a camera in a tight space like this and I want to look around in camera mode. So let's go into camera mode and I'll make sure that I've locked the camera to the view. If I now try and move the camera around very quickly, I'm going to start having problems where I'm going through geometry. Now this is where shift tilde will help. Shift tilde and then I can just look around without any issues. But probably one of the biggest reasons this is useful is actually to create realistic camera animations. So if I put the timeline into record mode and I'll make sure that the camera is selected, I'll press play and I'll very quickly press shift tilde. So play shift tilde and now I can start looking around and you'll see that the actual keyframes have been generated while we go. But if we play this back, we can see the result is quite jerky. But this is no problem, we can fix this very easily by going into the graph editor and we'll press home to fit it all into view. And we can see the reason for the jerkiness is that the keyframes aren't smooth at all. So to fix this, we'll go into the key menu, density, and I'll say sample keyframe to make sure we've got a keyframe on every frame. And I'll press Alt O a number of times to smooth it out. And then if we come out and play this back, we should get a much smoother result. But if we do find there are a few sort of jerky bits still, what we can do is go back into the graph editor, decimate the keyframes so that we lose all of the little tiny movements, and then we'll resample and then re-smooth again. And then if we play this back, we should have a perfectly smooth result. Now I mentioned earlier, we can use this to have some fun as well. So let's build a very quick assault course Go into first person view, but this time press tab to turn on gravity. And then you can use the V key to jump and then try and complete the little assault course that you've built. If you find that your jump isn't high enough or your, the height of your player isn't high enough, you can modify those in the navigation preferences. And then finally get so frustrated, you'll be looking forward to doing some work again. And there we go. So don't forget, if you've got any suggestions for features that you think people might not be aware of that are useful or good fun, then put them in the comments below and I'll try and make a video about those as well. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.